Yo, this is Zex, the owner of the Montage Kids, and before I make this video, I just want to make a shout out to my friend Buzzsta for letting me use his clips for all these videos, and my friend Pipsy, not Pepsi, or his AIM is Halo 2 Master for helping me out and um, helping me get the uh, videos working and rendered and everything. Alright, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up? This is Zevsta, owner of the Montage Kids. And I am making a Sony Vegas Pro 9 tutorial for beginners on what to do for montages. I've seen one video on YouTube so far that really explains what to do with the montage, and that's by Furion. So, I thought I would just make another one. So, if you like making montages or you're a beginner for Halo 3, Halo Reach, or uh, Mono for 2, Black Ops, games like that, Gears of War, then you're going to want to go get Sony Vegas Pro 9 and then come back and watch this video because it will really help you out so when you first get well let me actually tell you some background about me first when I first got uh, Sony Vegas about two years ago and I've been using it since I watched Furion's beginner thing helped me out a lot I got a lot better at it I know my way around now and um, now you can watch it and learn from me so when you first get it this is how it's gonna look like and yes well when you make a montage you really don't need a lot of this stuff so um, what I did is what you're gonna wanna do too is this right here you don't need it again this is Sony Vegas Pro 9 on 8 and 7 it will look a little bit different but 9 is what you wanna do you wanna exit out that give you all that space cause you don't need that and this thing right over here the master thing you wanna exit out that cause you don't need that either so you know, then you got this and I don't really use the uh, project media but uh, we'll we'll keep it here Actually, no let's just exit out just for right now I mainly use the Explorer so um go to my desktop so this is what happens when you first open it you should only have your Explorer transitions video effects media generators your screen your bottom this is how it should look so then what you want to do is you want to go to view windows layout and you want to save the layout name it like my awesome something alright just press save so when you open it up again and it's this then all you have to do is go to view windows and then go to my awesome layout and you're back to how you started it now I already got my layout so I'll just I'll just go to my layout and I have it saved so every time I open it this is my layout that it goes to it's the same thing I just had so now that I have my layout down, I'm going to look around see all this kind of stuff on my lay layout, I have project media, but I'll just exit it out for you guys. Alright, um, look around, I have all this cool stuff, not sure how to use it. So um, I would usually check around this stuff, I just look, it says audio, video, stuff like that. So pretend I want to make a Black Ops montage and I want to um, get a clip. I go to explore and I look around and this is basically my computer right here. I get my desktop, my computer, my documents, all that. So on my computer I go to my desktop, I have a folder called montage shit and then I have all of these folders in here for people's montages so I go to Busta's Black Ops montage folder and here it says he has a 9 kill streak. So it's 9 kill streak for his montage. See the quality of these, this is HD, Hulk Hulk PVR quality. It has on best full right now. That's also where you get quality. And I'll tell you more stuff about that later in different parts. But um so you get the clip in. All you have to do is click it. Now what you want to do is see this little white thing? You can move it by clicking above it. You can move it by clicking the clip where you want it to go. Or you can move it simply just by pressing the arrows if you really want to get precise. And you get the seconds in the bottom right corner so now that you have all that you want to um, well usually when you get a clip if you don't record it perfectly you want to cut it and literally simply all you have to do is say I wanted to cut the beginning part of this off and keep the rest on the right I press the S letter button on the keyboard and it splits the clip in half so I can bring it wherever I want and I cut the part I don't want so cut or delete so then I got the part I do want. 
but in this case I want the whole thing so you go to edit and you can undo what you did so you just keep undoing it oh, got a little lag and there we go alright so you keep editing and undoing what you want to do so then we're back to about normal there we go we're back to normal we got our clips all back perfectly None did it. So, I showed you how to move, and if you want to change your quality, usually when you have such good quality, the, the video runs slower and lags. So, if you put on a draft audio, it will run a lot smoother. It would probably be better for you. And then when you're ready to render, put it on best and then full. So, that's how you do that. And you see all these black lines around. When you render it and you put it on YouTube, it looks like that, so you're not going to want that. So, you right click your clip, go to properties and then click maintain aspect ratio you want to do that for all your clips and it does that now for you to get your properties and you want it to even run smoother and have better quality you go over here to project video properties and you go to this folder button match media settings in the top right and you find a clip that you used or a clip you captured with the same quality or thing you captured to make this clip you put in 1280 by 720 and you go to full resolution rendering quality and change it to best that's all you change with the, all the other stuff will be that the stuff that uh, you use to capture your clip with so run smoothie you click apply and you see how it got widescreen and it filled out more okay and I'll show you how to fix this later but so you got this right now perfect quality is perfect then so your clips running smoother and everything's working yeah, you have your clip and you want to say you want to put some video effects on it. So what you want to do is you want to go to transitions and video effects. And vid transitions is really to change a clip from another clip. So you can do swap, swirl, split, like slide, portals, binds, just anything you really can imagine. You can really just use your transitions. transitions. You can also edit transitions customly using something else I'll show you later on in part two so you got that then you got video effects where you can make it like no you can add noise you can add blur you can add glow you can add swirls you can add starburst you can add flares you can add pretty much anything you want you can also do custom uh, effects as well I'll show you in another video so you get those and then you can do media generators which I only use basically for text so you get, you, by the way, you move your clip by clicking and dragging it, but you get a text, you put it in front, you get a text. Now the text, you could change it to anything you want. So what I do is I go over my text so I can see it on the bigger screen. And then you click, me, or you click generated media, and you change your text to um, anything you want. So mine will be Zebsta. So once I change it to my gamer tag, then you change you could change your placement you could put it anywhere you want you can change the color if you really like blue or something you can change it to blue if you like green you can change it to green and you could change the way it is like you can make it horizontal you can have it like kind of curving like that like it's getting sucked into something you can do a lot of things for your intro on editing you can make it 3d but I'll show you that in another video again and then you can do as a credit roll your credits rolling basically the same thing you do with your intro so then you push your intro you move again your clips once you see the blue line that means your clips attached yellow line means it's on the line wherever you want it to be and then you can make it fade so if I wanted the clips to like fade into a video I just drag the video over to where it is and then it will fade alright so now that I have that that covered so you understand how to work the clips get the clips use video effects and transitions they give to you cut the clip and split the clip to do it like if you put a video clip effect and you only want it on a certain part of your clip you split it and then put the video effect on that part of your clip so I showed you how to do all that one last thing I'll show you in this video is you can insert video tracks and audio tracks and you can duplicate them just in case you were going to you might mess them up or something and you can delete them so I want you to comment rate subscribe and comment what I want you to comment is like stuff if you need help with or anything you want me to put it as videos I'll still be uploading montages and all that so subscribe for that 
And if you want to learn more stuff, just comment and tell me what you want to learn, and I'll make a video about it. So, um, part two will be coming out very 